motherfucking popping bitch. Mother is that? And you know, before we get started, we gotta set the mood. Where my crazy ladies at? What? I bust the windows out your car. My broken heart. About that part. I bust the windows out your car. I got the pair of Foster girls, bitch. And do what? Tell them you love them. So Shay, what did your pussy sit in your pants like? A fucking grapefruit is real fat and succulent. It vibrates a little bit when you touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I been hotter than summer school Cause even then I used to make the motherfuckers drool I been bad since sticky hands Now all these bitches is Mickey fans <laughs> I got the chuckle, excuse my duffel I mean my ring so big it just bruised my knuckle And I just heard that you was back on the market Let me back it up and then park it <laughs> Cause you and me, we should be together Top the matching Lamborghini Swahili no, 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 that, 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 that's. And if the bitch call your phone, you do. Hey, gorgeous, I missed you. I am here, still queer, and the baddest bitch of the what? Year. I'm not gonna tear it too long, as you can tell by the title. That's the reason y'all came here. This is a very anticipated story time, cause child shit got real. But before I get into that, only announcement that I do have is that my P.O. box opening is still um, coming, okay? Y'all are still sending stuff. I just went to the post office the other day. I'm talking about them ladies be me mugging me when I walk up in there because y'all send so much. And I be checking it like once every two, three weeks. And every time I go there, we I got to have help bringing stuff to the car. Fall is coming around the corner. Uh, for my babies, for my companies, you know, forward, whatever. All I'm going to say is, I'm not going to say I want nothing, but all I'm going to say is, you know, Ugg season is coming. I don't own a pair of Uggs yet, so if somebody watching with somebody, I mean, your bills is paid and your rent is paid and you're not a broke-ass bitch. Um, look at me trying to make the people that don't want to buy me something feel better. They don't buy me nothing. <laughs> but yeah, if y'all want to send me stuff, um, I love candles. It's going to get in that fall season. I don't know about you, but who else is excited about fall? No shade. I live for the cold months. I live for the chilly wind. I live for the candle lit, the, the, the candles and the pumpkins with the card faces and the, the sweet potato pie. Uh, I live for the leaves falling out. I don't know. It's just like the boys in their Nike jumpsuits, the print. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm excited. So if y'all want to send me some crew necks, some hoodies, some Uggs, some Uggs, some pink Uggs with the bow ties on the back, um, whatever y'all want to send <laughs> 
any type of follow up. Like I said, you can send anything. My PO box openers, I want them to start getting like a little crazy. Y'all can send me anything. Um, this surprised me at this point. Y'all done went above and beyond with a lot of the gifts. At this point, I really don't have a specific thing that I want. Whatever you're willing to send, if you send me one of your old family heirlooms, um, or I don't know, I don't know, whatever. But I, I, I really am excited to see what y'all send for the file. I do wear a size ten and a half. 11 in means, so transfer that to girls. Um, I'm a size thick as fuck in jeans. Um, I think I wear like a large in t-shirts, hoodies, or something like that, yeah. But other than that, I'm not gonna tarry along. We finna get into this video because this boy had me <laughs> up. And all I'm gonna say is, some of you may be able to relate to this video, not because you've had the exact same situation happen, but I'm pretty sure we all didn't had one time where a nigga thought that he was slicker than edge control. He just thought he was Mr. Man and he could get away with playing in your face. Let me tell you something. You play yourself the moment you think you can play me. Bitch. Stupid. Stupid. So sit back. Relax, get your snacks, put your phone on Do Not Disturb. Some of y'all got me on y'all TV. Hold on, put me on your story. Hold on, you ready, you ready? Countdown. Five, four, three, two. I'm on your TV. I'm on TV? What's up? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, let me stop. Girl, hood bitch is always saying, let me stop, girl. Little mustache, girl, and the two piece in the club, twerking for two seconds. <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> Let's get into this video. So this story time takes place the last week of July, 2020, very recent. So as you all know, and I have said before, I love Tinder. Tinder is a beautiful place. You know me, I don't think I'm narcissistic, but I just love compliments. And then men just think I'm so beautiful. I mean, they're not, they're not wrong, but you know what I'm saying? Waking up every morning to like 50 new niggas trying to fuck on you and treat you and this. I had niggas wake up telling me they want me to have their babies. How? I know I just live for, I live for the applause, applause, applause. I live for the applause, applause. Live for the applause, applause. Live for the way that you cheer and scream for me. The applause, applause, applause. And plus I be scared to leave the house cause you know, COVID, mad ass bitches cause I'm a popping ass bitch on the internet. You never know where it's at. And so you, I just rather stay in the house and y'all, yeah. So I pass my time a lot, you know, with texting some of the boys over there. So this one boy in particular, you know, I be going through swiping left on everything that ain't black. And I swipe right on this one boy. He was cute or whatever and we matched. But you know me, I'm a bougie girl. I'm not gonna text you first because I feel like, girl, Even though, I, even though I want to text you first, the bad bitch in me can't. So, like, immediately, this boy, he texts me. I'm going to use his real name because at this point, it's him. And if you know him, him. And it's probably some niggas out here that he didn't already let him. Let me calm down. So, I had matched with this boy named Ty. And as soon as we had matched, like, maybe five or ten minutes later, he had sent me a message. But I can already tell that it was a copy and paste message because it was like a paragraph. And basically, because, so my Tinder account got banned um, after this. Um, not immediately after this. About a few weeks ago, I've been about a month without Tinder. Um, I was in the airport leaving Houston all the way back to Atlanta. I was changing my location to Atlanta so that when I landed, you know, the city had a two hour heads up that mama was coming back in town. Um, and they banned my shit, not gonna lie, don't know why. I've been on an app called BLK okay now, um, doing great over there, doing great over there. But um, so I would have been able to go and get the screenshots from our Tinder messages when he first messaged me. But like I said, I got banned, so I don't have those. But I still have our text messages because I got a new phone. I got rid of the uh, yellow phone, y'all. And that yellow phone was iconic because if you do not know, I just recently started making YouTube videos with this nice ass camera. Um, I used to make all my videos on that phone, so it's kind of legendary. But I got an iPhone 11 Max, something like a, a G6, G5, something Hermes briefcase phone. But my iPad still got our text messages, so I'll be definitely dropping receipts, okay? Because I ain't got a lot of credit. But basically, the first message he sent on Tinder, um, it was in a nutshell, hey, my name is Ty, I'm from New Jersey. Um, I, have a, I got booked to perform. 
uh, in Atlanta, but I only have enough money to either get down there or get a room. Um, so I was wondering if I could, you know, come and stay with you when I come to Atlanta so I can perform. This is a really big opportunity for me. He'll be grateful if somebody would let him stay in day house while he came down here to not miss out on this once in a lifetime performance or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Instantly, I started getting broke as nigga vibes because you don't even know me and you trying to come stay in my house. What if I got roaches, you know? And I don't. But what if I did? And then I started thinking this could be a jug, like, you probably don't even live in New Jersey. You probably live in Atlanta and you just want me to let you in my home so while I'm asleep, you can unlock my door and have niggas running through my shit and take the paint off my walls. So it's a whole lot of shit I'm thinking. I'm like, uh. But then in the back of my dumb hood bitch mind, maybe this could be like the next little baby and like he gonna remember me letting her stay here and like when he pop off like, you feel me like, I'm like the new little Jada, you know what I'm saying? Like crazy. So immediately I text him back like, I don't know about all of that, that's weird, like I don't know. And then he started pressing me like, no, 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 I'm really cool, I'm really chill, da, da, da. And so mind you, the boy's like kinda cute, he kinda cute. So I'm like, well let me get on FaceTime with you to make sure like you not, you know, no catfish ass nigga. So we get on the phone, we talk, and he actually really cool people. Mind you, of course he gonna be cool with you cause he needs your fucking place. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking so, I'm asking him like, you got booked to come down here? He was like, yeah, uh, my friend down there booked me to come perform at this new club uh, in Atlanta. Mind you, ain't no new clubs going on. You know, bitch, I'm, I'm the princess around this bitch. I know when a new club that's worth something opening up. We ain't heard nothing about no new club on the south side. So who, who booking you, bitch? And I ain't never heard of you before. I ain't never heard of your music or nothing. So, you know, I'm asking him, you know, send me his music. Like, let me hear what the fuck, you know, wh what your shit sound like. Kind of you. I'm really in that air. She really fucking looking cool. She know what's up, cause I'm always on the ass. Yeah, in school, she trying to chase her back. Phone and she acting kind of naughty, yeah. Naughty, yeah. Yeah, so all my hopes are being little Jada out the fucking window. So in the back, I'm thinking, who the fuck is booking that? Um, but okay, you know, maybe it's not my style. Maybe it ain't what I'm used to. Maybe he really somebody steal off for real. So I'm still a little hesitant, so I tell him, like, I'm gonna have to get back with you on that. You know, I'm gonna have to see, like, if I'm really feeling that. So I start calling around to all of my friends, asking my friends, like, you know, is this like, should I do this? Like, woo woo. Everybody telling me no. I asked my uh, one best friend, he said no. Then I asked his mama, because, you know, his mama, like, my mama too. She said, hell no, that's crazy. You shouldn't do that. So after two days of talking to my friends, you know, hearing from them collectively say, I don't think that's really the smartest idea, I told him he could come. He messed around and sent me a picture of his penis, you know, at this point. <laughs> Risk taker. So mind you, I'm talking to him in more depth because I'm like, okay, if somebody booked you to perform at a club, when you get booked, they supposed to pay for your travel. They supposed to pay for your room. How is it that you're getting booked, paid to perform somewhere, but they're not making sure you get here or your stay. Like, I'm asking all these questions, then he sent me this message. Only because they're not a big club and I'm not from out there. They want me to bring Jersey out there and hopefully go on tour with them. I'm actually taking a risk to come out there because I don't know if they're gonna pick me to go on tour with them. I'm actually trying to get my name up in the music industry, but here's a little more information about me. I had something going with DDG, Cousin, Diamond, blah, 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 bullshit, bullshit. But I know, yeah, 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 yeah. I just want you to know I'm not like that. You're opening your home up to me. I wouldn't take advantage of that. Have your friends stay there while I'm there. I'll sleep on the couch or the floor. I just can't miss this opportunity. So here, I'm hearing like, this is a hustler, go get a type of dude. He gonna get it by any means. I like that hustling a dude. Your music's fucking terrible, but you know, you're, it was stupid. I'm trying to make it make sense. It don't make no damn sense, Shay. You're stupid, you're stupid. You don't open up your door for strangers. You just don't do that. So then he's saying like, um, he might want to stay for like just a week, just a week. Mind you, this is the last week of July, so my birthday's August 1st. So I'm like, you want to stay here with me for a week? Next weekend is my birthday, like, I'm about to be turned up, earned up. Like, I'm not going to leave you at home in my shit while I'm out tearing up the city. And I don't know if you want to come with me because you're DL straight. So I'm like, do I want to carry around some trade? Like, I'm really contemplating it all. So you know what I mean? Mama be thinking, I'm financially blessed, but if a nigga finna come stay with me, 
up under my roof for more than 24 hours or 48 hours. And I'm like, okay, you you could you could pay my cell phone bill this month. So I asked him how much was you know thinking of willing to give me. Um, to talk. At first he said $50. Girl, I added 100 to it. Because it was on FaceTime. Uh, remember I told you I'd, I'd get on FaceTime him. So I was like, I talked him up to like, okay, about 150 That You pay my cell phone bill next month. I guess that's alright. Because I still kind of want you to come because you're cute. You know, I want to do nasty stuff with you. So I ain't finna, I ain't finna tell you four, five hundred, two thousand. 2000 You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to tell you like some, some chunk change. $150 ain't no money to me. You know, so I'm like, oh, you know, that, that just looks something. He said, that's doable. Okay, cute. So... In my mind, I feel like a city girl. I'm getting money and I'm getting dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then he tell me like for 150, I thought that was for a week, you know. And then I'm like, girl, where else in Atlanta can you stay at for a week that's worth something for 150 dollars, girl? You might want to take this deal. So now it's playing. He's supposed to be landing what that Thursday or Friday? Let me see. He landed July 24th. He landed Friday morning, July 24th. So I'm like, okay, I've been talking to him for a week, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting to know him. He feel normal. He coming out here. He an up-and-coming rapper. Okay, shit, we just, you know, we, we, we just finna see what life takes us, you know? I like the roll of all star. So he lands, and then he Ubers to my apartment. I go outside. I see him. He cute. I'm like, okay, you all right. He's here. This is really happening, Shay. What are you doing? Fuck it. Let's just get her done. So he comes in. Mind you, I have my friend Trey here with me because you know like I don't know if he thinks she is sweet you know I'm not I'm still not, not too naive I'm naive to an extent because I let this stranger come out of across the country to stay with me and I barely know anything about him but I'm not too naive to feel like I'm still not putting myself in danger so you know my homegirl is here with me so he come in he speak to Trey he like respectful like hello how you doing he introducing himself I'm like come on man it's yes and we just vibing. Everything is great. You know what I'm saying? He not socially awkward. He interacting. I think we got some drinks that night. We just chill. Got a little joint. You know, really want no nothing too, too tough. Um, and we just chill. So we chilling. First day goes by. Day two goes by. I think I invite some friends over one night. It's like two days um, in. His performance is, I think, Sunday night. Yeah, Sunday night. Saturday night. We had like a small get together with some of my friends over my house and we was drinking. And we had vibed the whole day. We had got some food. He was just like, I just, he was just like, cool. He put me in my room. We was both drunk and he was like, you know, Shay, and my dad and have been, you know, I think I, I'm, I'm, you really cool people. And I don't know, it's just like something about you, like, that's making me feel like, that I don't know, like, it's just something about you. Like, I really fuck with you. And I don't do that with too many people. My ditzy dumb ass believe in him. Believe him. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Really? Like, I'm different. So then while me and him talking, we just started making out. Like, ooh, and it was electrifying. So I'm like, okay, so Shay, uh, calm down. Because you're not finna rush. You don't even know this boy. It's been a day and a half. Like, please, don't buy the bullshit. So we go back, finish drinking. We, we, we cut it at night. I'm not going to lie. It felt good to have... You know, I'm saying that companionship in the bed. Like, you know, I'm thick and I'm juicy and I'm voluptuous. So it's like, he hugging on me and rubbing on me. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I got invited to go to this day club um, that my gay daddy was hosting. And he came with me because you weren't going to stay at my shop by, my, by yourself. So me, him, and my friend Trey, we go pull up at the little day party at a little, at a little gay club. Mind you, he ain't never been to no gay club before. You know, the gays in Atlanta going to show up. So we up in there, them gays is tipping. We just having a good time. He's like so mesmerized because like he's never seen that type of gay culture before. And he told me he was like a little curious. He was a little bi. He did some stuff with a boy back up north, but he ain't really never really got deep into the shit. But his performance is like that night. I think he said the club person that booked him wanted him to be there at like 10-ish. But mind you, the day party started at like five song and it ended at like nine. So it's running up about 8.30ish, close to 9 o'clock. You know, I'm I'm over there across the, the club tipping. And I look over like, oh, he's still sitting over there. You know, he's not really texting me saying, all right, can we leave here soon? Because I need to go get rid of So I'm like, ain't you got a performance? So I tip on over there to him. I'm like, you don't need to be leaving soon? Like, you was going to leave from here and go straight to before? Like, what's going on? Oh, the dude ain't texting me back. I don't know what's going on. Woo, woo, woo. Damn, unfortunate. You know, he just brought you all the way down here and just the day off. <laughs> okay, he just, nah, damn. So I felt bad for him. So we leave from the day party and we go back to my house. 
Now, by the time we get back, it's well after the time he's supposed to beat us. So, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, it's either really messed up that that dude then brought you all the way from New Jersey to Atlanta and ghosted you, or you didn't have no booking to begin with with your lying ass. That was just a, a story to try to, you know, make a bitch feel bad for you. Forgot to mention Sunday morning. He woke me up with his... <laughs> Sunday morning, he woke me up with his wood in between my ass cheeks. I'm sitting there asleep. Ooh, oh! <laughs> Grab the loop. Grab the loop off the counter. You can't just slide up in me. I'm, I'm a little tight, baby. You need, you need, yeah, get, some, get put some of that salve on it. We did a quick little one, too, you know. Mm, 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 from the side. Mm, 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 like how we ride. Not gonna lie, shit felt, felt, felt a little good. I ain't even gonna hold you. He pulled out and he nutted on my little booty cheek, girl. I turned around. You know me, I'm nasty. So even though the real bitch in me is sensing that this nigga could possibly be full of freaking bull crap malarkey, he felt good. What can I say? Dick makes me stupid. So we get back, back to my apartment. We chilling over there. We vibing. I go live on an app called Big O. I got to do my hours. Because this is this, this app I get paid. Um, I got to go live two hours a day. Y'all should follow me on Big O. Um, B-I-G-O at The We Love Shay. I have to do my hours and stuff. So, you know, I go live. And I think while I'm talking, he comes in the background. And he said, so he asked me a question. You know, my followers, they, y'all catch on. And y'all heard his voice. And I was like, Shay, who that? Da, 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 da. And I'm like, a friend. Because he's DL. So I'm like, just a friend. So he's sitting off camera. But I'm reading him, like, some questions that they ask me. He talking. They living for his voice. Like, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, you got a New Jersey or a New Yorker with your shit? Like, what? Da, 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 da. So mind you, he didn't been here. This is the third day because he landed on the 24th that sunday night after i did my hours and we was talking and he was like saying like shay you really got me thinking about like i guess coming out like you know i don't know i just i could vibe with you i could see myself being with you but i don't know if you would take me seriously because i'm a stranger and you barely know me but like my mind knows what it wants and chilling with you you just so real you funny i like your vibes like <clears throat> Yo, shorty, your vibes is like talking to me in that little nasty ass New Jersey ass accent. And of course, common sense now tell me like he was just bullshitting, but I've been told that by niggas before and they were dead ass serious, um, my ex. So like, I have a way with niggas. I know for a fact I'm a dope ass bitch. I turn niggas out left and right. So the words he was saying to me, they weren't too far fetched because that's just what good pussy does. So I remember I went and I got my hair touched up. I got some green hair for my birthday. And I don't know why, but we was playing around with my camera and we messed around and had like a little mini photo shoot. And me and him took like some aesthetic pictures, you know, just some, some pretty black melanated pictures. I was gonna keep it for myself, but he was like, you can post them. I'm like, you sure you want me to post these pictures that we just took in my bed and all your friends back home think you straight. You were supposed to be a thug. You supposed to be a, a, some type of gang, something up north and you just high mighty respected and shit like that. I'm like, you sure? Cause them, I don't live in New Jersey, I'm not from there, but it, the internet is a very, very magical place. And I could sit down here in Georgia and post something in your whole neighborhood back home that I've never stepped foot in is gonna be talking about what I posted just because, you know, shit circulates the internet. So he was like, Shay, I'm for real. I don't care. I made my mind up. So what they talk about, you know, me, you know, I like being around you. I mess it with you. Your vibe is da da da. Fuck them. So I'm like, oh, okay, so July 28th, we post some pictures and he's i'm not posting it because he's my nigga i'm only posting it because i feel like one i look good and you know me and my best friend ain't had no pictures so it's just like a little a little just pretty black melanated skin just some just some dope shit his phone starts blowing up them pictures went up so mind you we passed the two three day limit he said he was gonna be here but because I'm vibing with you and I'm really fucking with you, I'm not really pressing for you to go. So we on four days going on five now. So them pictures is going up. He telling me his old exes is texting him. And he got a lot of hoes from up north that's like dogging him. Some of his bros is dogging him. I'm like, damn, you, you told me that you didn't care. So I can't really feel bad. So we chilling. I stuck his dick a couple more times. You know, we're, we're good. We're good. So around the fifth day. Okay, so now I'm like. 
you getting real comfortable, you know. And I'm enjoying you, but what's 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 the plan? Oh well, um, I ran into something and I only got enough to get me back home. Um, well, no, because you said you give me 150 for you being here for three days. It's going on five now, and you think that the first couple dollars you get. You finna get down. So I'm like, well, I don't know about that one. Um, you know, we kind of made an agreement, but you know, I'm not really finna press it. He's like, no, I got you, I got you, I got you. I, I, I respect you. I'm, uh, that's already built into it. I'm a douche. Like, I got you, I got you. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So I want to say maybe it's Thursday afternoon. It's coming up on almost a week now you've been here. I'm chilling with him, laying on my couch, and I'm going through my DMs and I get a DM from a girl, well, from a page, and it's saying like, Shay, 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 please open this, please open this. Be careful who you got in your house, like, please, blah, blah. So, I'm looking like, girl, who, who is this? So, I open up the DM, and he, mind you, I'm laying on his lap, so like, he can look at my phone and see what I'm doing. So, he look and see the Edna, and he was like, oh my God, don't listen to her. That's my crazy ex, yo, she's crazy. So, you know, me, not being completely naive, I'm like, well, I can't really discard this girl because she's DMing the freak out of me, trying to warn me about how uh, she was telling me, like, don't worry, you have a liar and a con artist in your house. I'm like, well, I barely know nothing about him, so I can't just discard her accusations like I just completely trust you because I don't because you just told me the other day you was going to get your money and, and uh, skip town without paying me for being here. Like, why not? Well, I'm sitting here like, well... Well, no, I'm you know I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna enter, entertain this. Mind you, the night before we had got really really personal, and he had told me that um he was into like a very he's a very uh, emotionally manipulative person. He tries to manipulate you with the pity. Um, he told me that when he was a kid, uh, he was in foster care or something, and it was these white parents that um, I don't know how foster homes work. But basically, he was in the house with a bunch of fucking kids, and they used to fucking keep the boys in one room and the girls in one room, and they would have cameras set up, and they would force the kids to do stuff with each other, um, all types of sick, twisted stuff. The dad would come mess with the boys, the girl, the mom would go mess with the girls. It was like an old white couple, and they did that for like years, and this is like a whole lot of bullshit. And he told me he just got in trouble, and that's how he got sent there. But mind you, I have a friend who had actually been in foster care before and it was he told me well nine times out of ten most of the time when you go to foster care it's because the parent is unfit or something and they take the kids away until the parent can prove or something like that so they don't just send you there because you know you're just a bad kid i don't know how it worked so because i didn't know i really just went with it so he to explain to me how that was traumatic and he had to do stuff with boys and da -da 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 and you know woo. so i'm like oh my gosh i'm really feeling for him but all of that is really to butter you up you know what i'm saying to make you Forget the fact that he really trying to play me in your face. So back to the we land on. I'm laying on the couch and I'm going through the DMs and I see the girl DM me. I'm like, well, I'm not going to ignore her. So I DM her back. I'm like, girl, what's up? You want to get on the phone? And she's like, yeah, give me a minute. So she sent me her number and I can visibly see him get like upset that I'm even thinking about continuing to text her. And it's kind of throwing me off because I'm like, well, if she's just super, super, super crazy, then nothing she say should be valid you know she shouldn't be able to say anything to me that can make me think anything of you because if she's crazy i'll be able to tell i can tell when a bitch is crazy or just dig hunger or just miss you you know what i'm saying you know well, I'm, but i'm not gonna discard her because i don't know her or you so i get on the phone i'm like hey sis and first thing she tell me is like shay first of all i've been a supporter of you for years shout out to new jersey girl and i'm going through our dm she been dming me for like yeah, she's really been a supporter. She's been watching me. So now I'm a little bit more on her side to hear what she got to say because one thing about it, the two things for sure, my shame mob going to step behind me. Y'all love me down. I got some folks out here watching right now. Y'all ain't finna let too many folks disrespect me. Um, a lot of y'all look at me as y'all older sister, y'all mama figure, big brother, auntie, uncle, whatever, little sister, little cousin. So, like, a lot of y'all really, you know, mess with me. So, if y'all see some fuck shit going on and y'all can help a bitch out, you know, y'all will step in. So, clearly, um, she was like, Shay, I'm a big supporter. So, you know, but it kind of surprised me the other day because I seen you post him and 
this is my ex and he's been running from me. I've had warrants out for him. He's a thief. He's a con artist. He's a liar. Um, and it just really surprised me because of all places, I wouldn't have expected him to be with you. So I'm like, girl, how is he a liar? Like, explain. So apparently they was dating. They was in a toxic relationship or whatever. And it was one night they had got a hotel room together or something like that. He was living in hotels or something. Mind you, the girl is a paid girl, okay? She was smart, pretty, brown skin, educated, privileged, but chasing some dick. She ended up in a hotel room with him. And they had got into some type of argument. And she had walked out the room to... Calm down. This is the backstory she's giving me while he's standing there. While she's telling me this on FaceTime, he's standing like in my living room looking at me like pulling his hair out of his hair like she's really telling the story. So she tell me like because they got into like a little argument over whatever it fucking was, she stepped out to cool off. And when she came back, she caught him like all his stuff was packed up leaving and her phone was missing. And he just dipped. Mind you, the boy had called his other girl to come and pick him up or something like that. So he stole her phone and 11X, 11 iPhone 11 Max something. Well, the phone that he's had since he's been with me was an 11, but he had two phones. He had a shitty ass Android and an 11. Keep in mind the Android's important. So I'm like, well, he does have an iPhone 11 with, me, with him right now. And she was like, yeah, that's mine. And she was like, for the past two, three months, she's been trying to just get him to send the phone. She done moved on with him. She don't care about him. She's in a whole new relationship. She just wants her phone back because she spent, them phones ain't cheap. And he just keeps skipping state to state. Like, one minute he'll be in Delaware. One minute he'll be in Jersey. One minute he in New York. One minute he in Philly. Like, every time she finds his location, she try to, you know, get a warrant after his arrest in that city because you you just stole my stuff you done ran off with my phone so now she was like well i didn't even know where he was until you posted him on instagram because he's so stupid he don't think about stuff and she found out he was in atlanta now you trying to avoid her so you really playing with her and i'm feeling for her because once she's a supporter of mine you know i ride for y'all and all it sounds she don't sound crazy she don't sound she sound a little dizzy because you know she you know she a girl y'all get up in y'all feelings but she doesn't sound like the loser, she really genuinely said me and him had something. I still had love for him. I knew she was crazy because she said all the stuff that he's done for me, I'ma still love him just because what we've been through. And y'all girls gotta work on that. Sometimes you need to cut a nigga off completely. Sometimes the history that you have with a nigga will be the fuel to some toxic ass behavior and accepting some toxic ass shit. Sometimes you need the history to be history, bitch. Don't allow that history to dictate your future because history is past tense. You can't let past tense dictate what you're going to do next. So please don't let your history with a nigga stop you from wanting to move on and better yourself because we've just been through so much. We got to girl, 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 shut up. I could tell she was a little distant because she still said, I'm going to always have love for him. After the shit that he did to you, girl, the way you said he, I think he hit her or something like that or, and stole her shit. Like, bitch, I'm up. Uh, it's fuck ya. In the cost ya. So I'm taking all of this in. I'm like, thief, liar. You still fuck shit and you dip the fuck off. Hmm. Okay. Okay. After she says all of that, I'm like, okay. Well, thank you for the info. Um, I'm going to get to the bottom of this more when you get off the phone. So she hangs up. He goes to try to explain to me like, see, she, I'm like, uh-uh. It just sounds like she wants her phone. Did you or did you not take her phone? Is that her phone? Mind you, he tried to tell me while she was explaining, this is not your phone, like what the fuck, da 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 After she got off the phone, he said, I mean, yeah, it's her phone. Okay, so you did steal her shit. Okay, so here's a couple things that you're gonna do, okay? So you're gonna send her phone back and just do the right thing. And he's telling me like, Shay, like, no, like, I can't do that. Da, da, da. I'm like, uh, uh you're gonna send her phone back and do the right thing. Um, and then I'm gonna get this 150 off of you. Um, and you're gonna go, you're gonna go. Because at this point I'm feeling a little iffy. I don't think I trust you. Oh um, no, I'm just not, um, my, my spirit ain't sitting right now. So while I was on the phone with her, he had stepped outside because he got the second angel. So he came again, this was like Thursday when this happened. Mind you, Friday night is my birthday weekend, so I got plans to go out Friday night. I'm not finna let this little weird mess, you know, really change my mood because I'm still gonna cut up. So I get cute, girl, I'm about to step, you know what I'm saying? It's Friday night, my birthday's Saturday, like, yeah, 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 pull up the bottles, let's get lit. 
and he comes out with us. By now, me and him have posted an Instagram skit on IG, and me and him like kissed it, and like, you know, it's, the picture already had folks thinking he was gay back home, but the video we did that he agreed to was like a, just a confirmation. So like, they really, you know, tagging him back up north. Had to throw that in there because he went out, I got him into the club, you know, with me and my girls. You know, I walked in, you know, the they, they showing me love, we love changing the video. It's just a good night, I'm enjoying my shit. Well, my friends are ghetto, they get to fighting in the club and it just ruined the mood for everybody. So we leave the club and we just go home. The night, I look good though, but we didn't really get to enjoy the night because ghetto shit, but fuck it. So we go back to my apartment and you know, I'm kind of annoyed because of the whole fight situation. I'm like, oh, I really didn't plan this, but okay, whatever. So when I get back to my apartment, you know, I see that he done posted, the boy, Ty, he done posted on his Instagram um, saying, I'm not gay, that shit is all an act. You know, I be in y'all girls' DMs, I ain't even own none of that shit. Like, that's not even me, da -da -da. that's acting, I'm just playing, da -da -da. Mind you, he was in my bed, whispering in my ear while we cuddling and shit, like, I wanna fuck with you, I want you to take you take you serious, like, Shay, you know what I'm saying, we ain't gotta make nothing official, I will leave and go back up north, keep talking to you for a few months just to show you I'm not playing, like, I really wanna be with you, like, you telling me this, I ain't, I'm telling you now, like, I can't trust shit that you're saying, I believe actions more than anything, like, I'm telling him, like, I can't give you no definite answer because I done had niggas waste my time before, and, but he is really persistent, I understand you the goddamn, but I'm trying to show you, so you telling me, you want to be with Shay, and then you just randomly post because I guess your friends back home is dogging you too much or whatever, and you can't take shit. Like, you posting on it like, oh, this acting, I don't even like it. And I'm like, but you sitting, when you make the post, like 10 minutes ago, you're sitting at my dining room table, I'm sitting in the living room looking at you, and you ain't saying a word to me. Okay, so now I got to check it. Because one of you don't want to be with me, just <laughs> say that. Right, but don't sit here and try to paint something out like, Oh, it's one thing when it's really not and you on the internet trying to make it seem like oh this just acting for you This just an opportunity like y'all know people be acting for da -da -da -da. So I'm like you look like a little cloud chaser So on top of your girlfriend already saying that you weird and you just stole her shit and you ain't got my 150 Now you posting trying to contradict the gay shit that we didn't already fucking did Mind you we not already made a YouTube video, but it hasn't been edited or nothing yet But I'm already knowing the YouTube video that we made that you still want me to post it's very, <laughs> you damn it came out in the video. Y'all seen it, y'all, the, the, with my green hair, the, the fucking video I did with the little black boy, he spit in my, yeah, yeah, that's him. I told y'all this story time was coming. So now just a whole lot of red flags. So me, I pulled him in the room, in my room away from all my friends, cause you know, all my bitches came back to my apartment with me, but I'm not gonna make a scene in front of them, because I know my girls, they'll beat your ass. So I tell him like, what the fuck is this? And he just busts out laughing. He's like, I knew you was gonna see that. Like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is this? Like, no. He, he trying to explain it, but now, because now I'm coming to my senses. Now you have been here a week now. Um, there's not much you can say. Now your, your, your flavor, your game. No, I'm, I'm coming to my senses because mm -mm. now it's my birthday. It's like 2, 3 a.m. August 1st. I'm a little annoyed. I'm not in, I'm not enjoying the first hours of my day, but it's okay. So I explained to him, I just tell him, okay, look, how about this? I'm not really fucking with this shit. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking your vibe. I'ma need that motherfucking 150. And you gotta go tomorrow. You've been here, I've been more than nice enough. Da -da -da. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was like, Shay, really? Like, da da da. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, I, I ain't want to, you know, make a scene out there. And he was like, no, 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 you know, I, I feel like, you know, you already got this plan. You want to put me out in front of your friends while your friends is here? I'm like, this ain't got shit to do with them. You know what I'm saying? I'm letting you know I'm not really fucking with y'all, but that's why I put you in my room. If I wanted to check in front of my friends, I would have did that. But he trying to tell me, like, oh, I'm just trying to boss up on him because I know that my girl is, is in my living room. Oh, the fuck? So I tell him, figure it the fuck out, but I'm gonna need that 150 before you go. Cause he was trying to explain to me that he only had enough to get him a plane ticket to leave. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm gonna need my bread and you can go. So I walk out the room while he's still trying to explain. So I'm like, I, I, there's nothing else to explain. Figure it out. So I go sit in the living room. He walked back out there. He's still running his mouth. Mind you, all my friends is in the room 
uh, on they, uh, in my living room on their phones and stuff. I walk out there and sit down like nothing happened. He walk out the room in the living room like, no, 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 go ahead since you want to do it. I'm like, who are you talking to? Like, what, what, what do you, what, why, how would you be in a position to have an attitude with anything I'm saying? When I done been more than lenient, you were supposed to stay here for three, you done been here for seven. I don't remember exactly what he said, but he said something along the lines of like, why you doing the most right now? Why you da -da -da -da? I'm telling him like, bitch, cause I fucking can, bitch. It's my motherfucker. Da -da 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 -da. So now I'm snapping. So now my friends see me getting like excited. I'm like, the fuck? Matter of fact, figure this shit the fuck out. You going in the motherfucking morning, bitch. And if I don't have my shit, I'm gonna beat your ass. And yeah. So after that, like, we can definitely tell he's no longer welcome. My friends are no longer team him. Yeah, you you better figure something out because he's trying to explain to me I have no money that I'm like well I don't give a fuck because one you've been buying weed since you've been here You done bought two three liquor bottles since you'd have been here um, At the fucking club that we went to you tried to order some fucking hookah um, Hookahs two hookahs to the fucking section like you you got money so he go in my guest room and he lock himself in there and he just, you know, sleep. But he pack all his stuff up. So me being the hood bitch, I'm like, oh, this nigga think that he gonna wait for everybody to go to sleep and he gonna dip up out of here without giving me my motherfucking money and just move on with life. Okay, no, no, no. Everybody wind down. I got like four, five of my friends in my living room, knocked out on my couch. He and my guest room still been locked in there all night long and I'm in my room. I wake up about 7 a.m. and I say, let me go make sure this nigga is still here because all my friends that were supposed to be watching him, they knocked out. So I go peek in my guest room. He's still in the bed knocked out sleep. So I think to myself, well, because I'm still halfway sleeping, but I don't want to go to sleep and then he do wake up and dip out and, you know, without giving me my coin, I got to have some type of leverage on him. I see his Android phone sitting. Well, I thought it was the iPhone 11, the one that he stole from the girl. I picked that up and I take it in my room. Because clearly you're not gonna leave without that. So now, if I have it with me, you won't leave without that phone. So yeah, I can go back to sleep. I got some leverage on you. Cause you won't get this phone back until I get my money. But when I got to my room, I seen it was actually his Android. But his Android didn't have no lock on it. So I unlocked it, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to his messages. Girl, tells all. From the moment he landed, the nigga was lying. He said he didn't have no money. I go to his cash app. He was texting his mama. Mama, can you send the money? I'm trying to get out of here right now. Yeah, I'm in a sticky situation. I think I might be in danger. Um, please send me some money so I can just leave in the morning. And the reason I felt like he was gonna leave was because my girl Tracy, you know my girl Tracy always catching him against some bullshit. She said when I was on the phone with the girl and he stepped outside, Tracy was already outside smoking. And she said she seen him looking up Greyhound tickets or like tickets for something. And when Tracy was coming, he tried to swipe out and Tracy acted like she ain't seen it, but she came and told me and I kept it in the back of my ear. So that's why I was like a little paranoid. Like he might try to leave, like you're not, fin you're not finna get away with it. So I'm seeing where the messages is. He was asking his mama to send him money and she sent him a hundred and something dollars in cash out. So then I'm scrolling through the messages some more and I'm seeing Girl, like he's texting girls and they got 404 numbers, 678 numbers. And I'm saying, like, you from Jersey. I thought you ain't know nobody down here in Atlanta. You know, I was the, 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 the link that you had. I'm going through these messages. While he was at the club with me Friday night, he had invited a girl to the club to my section for my birthday. He told her, I'm going to a club. I got a section. You can come and sit in my section with me. Ain't put in nothing, ain't. Some type of boss. Another girl he was texting, he had invited to come and chill in my apartment complex parking lot. She couldn't come in. He, he didn't tell her why she couldn't come in, but he said, I can come out to the car and chill with you. He already been knew some bitches in Atlanta. They was just over his shit, because I'm guessing the last time he came here or whatever, he just did some fuck shit to them and they didn't want to link up with him no more. So I'm like, you was going to have a bitch pull up to my shit? Mind you, you laid up in my bed trying to paint to me that you want to be with me, this, and you going to come out for me and you don't care and this us against the world, this and that, and you fucking, I mean, you're eating my ass. And you got, you think you, you, you texted her saying, 
Shorty, I might need you to come and scoop me. I might have to dip um, on these people. It's getting sticky where I'm at. Woo, woo, woo. He takes in his homeboys like, oh, I'll just make sure, you know, uh, uh, my last place I'm at is this and do 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 do. And I don't know, something, whatever happens to me, I love you. Like, he really think that, because the way I snapped on him, he about right to be scared for uh, his safety, bitch, because I'm, I'm not I'm not hearing none of that bullshit. I'm not hearing none of that. You outstage are welcome by a long shot, and you trying to play with my coin at this point. Mind you, $150,000 ain't shit to a bitch like me. It's the principal at this point. You're not going to tell me you're going to pay me something for three days. It's been seven days, and you think you're about to skip town, and I'm seeing messages to where you're trying to get money to just up and leave and thinking that, oh, girl, I'm not the Jersey girl. <laughs> You won't up and leave with my shit. So at that point, when I see the messages, I turn right back around. At this point, we're not going back to sleep. I walk up in that room. I tap him on that shirt. I'm in the room he was in. I tap him. Hey, come on, get up. You gotta go. All my friends is in there sleeping. At this point, I'm not even doing this for them. You, you, you gotta go. I already went through your phone. I already seen what I'm. What, what, what's about to happen right now? Is you about to fucking? Cash out my friend this mother freaking money and you about to give me that iPhone. You can take this Android and you about to get the fuck up out of here right now. I know I just seen it. You didn't try to have bitches. You did it. You ain't gotta explain nothing. So he's sitting here like waking up, wiping his eyes like, yo, what is you? Ah, I don't wanna hear none of that bullshit. I'm gonna need you to uh, uh what's the what's the cash out pin? Cause I tried to cash out my friend myself but he got it to where you can't cash out nothing without a cash out pen i ain't know the pen so i'm telling him give me the pen so i can take this little 150 off i think it was like 105 but 150 i could take this because this is what you got i'm gonna take all of this and i don't even care about the rest you just gotta go Shit, what did you talk about? I don't want to hear none of that. Just, just give me my shit and you can go. I ain't got no beef with you. It's nothing like that. Just you thought you could play me. You, 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 you thinking you da 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 da, and it ain't that. He doing everything but giving me the cash app pen. I'm getting annoyed now because at this point you're still thinking that you have enough game in you to calm me down, and I'm doing too much. So I'm like, hey, I'm not hearing none of that fuck shit. You got to go. You weird as fuck. You been to, like, you got to fucking go. So he starts explaining to me, that's the only money I have to get my ticket out of town. I'm like, I, I don't give a fuck. Well, what am I supposed to do? You think I'm about to send you the... I don't think you're about to send it to me. I know you are. I don't. At this point, I don't care how you get home. I don't give a fuck what you got going on, but you, you ain't got to go home. You ain't got to go back to New Jersey. But you got to get the fuck up out of here. Them messages I read with you trying to sneak up out of here and, and, and inviting bitches over the Bitch, you don't know, you don't know nigga, I don't know what the fuck they do up in New Jersey, but nah, we don't play like that. So mind you, my friends is waking up because they hear me and they're arguing with him and they come in here like, show what's going on. I'm like, I give them the Android. They reading the messages that I motherfucker read. I'm like, yeah, he think he's slick. Like, nah, like, you gotta go. As soon as my friends read the message, Oh yeah, you gotta go. So I'm saying, telling him he not gonna leave until we get this cash app pen so we can move this money, take this shit, and then you can dip. So we're going back and forth for about five minutes. We not really getting nowhere. He still going back and forth. Boom! I'm not playing with you. Give my shit. Like I like I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not playing. He ball up on the bed. I'm, I'm not finna beat your ass, but I'm I'm, finna, I'm I'm gonna rock your shit. You keep playing, you wasting my time. I don't have, I don't wanna hear nothing that you have to fucking say. My stupid ass motherfucking friends. One of them bitches get on motherfucking live because they think that this shit is just so motherfucking funny. But I don't even peep that they on motherfucking live and shit. They recording everything that we motherfucking doing. Mind you, mama's handling business, okay? I said that I'm a hood bitch. But I don't say that shit for play play. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in really real life. You can't play a bitch like me. And when you think you're the play me, like I said, you're the play your motherfucking self. So, bitch, I'm not even paying attention to, like, I don't even think they would be screen recording this shit because I'm about to do some things that may not help me in court. So, bitch, I tell him, like, you got about five more minutes. You got into this shit, say, do, 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 do. And if you ain't give me that cash up hand, it's really not pretty for you. This nigga start getting all worked up. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I'm just saying, you, we got the account down going these minutes. You got four more minutes. You got three more minutes. So then he finally give us the cash up here, like right when I'm talking about, I'm talking about to go in for another one, bitch, because you think I'm playing with you. We move that money, my friend takes it, we deposit it, pack your shit up. I grab his shit, I go outside, I throw it outside, bitch. You come on, let's go. Come on, speed the fuck up. You gotta get the fuck up out of here. Right when he's about to go, my friend Tracy remind me, like, oh shit, um, he, he got a lock code on it, we can't get in it, so we need to pass code to the phone before he go. So, 
when we send it back to the girl, we can send it back to her, like, unlock with no things so she can, you know, do whatever she do. So I go back outside while he picking up all his shit. I'm like, what's the passcode? Bro, you already got the phone. You don't need the pass. What's the passcode? That's the last thing we need from you. We didn't know that you had a lock on the shit. It does us no good to not know the lock, to have the phone for the girl. We just tell us what the code is, and then you'll really be able to go on your way. Mind you, I forgot. I still got his Android in my hand, so... He really asked out of luck. <laughs> Bitch, you, I'll give you this phone back if you give us the code to this. So he's standing there trying to scream and shit. Like, mind you, now we're in the, the threshold, the hallway of my apartments. So, like, his voice is carrying. So, the more he screamed, like, you already got the phone. Like, dude, dude. like, he screamed, like, shut the fuck. Bitch, I got neighbors, bitch. Like, they not supposed to know I'm ghetto. So, because he trying to do that back and forth shit, and I already asked you for the shit, I walk back inside, give me a cup of water. Old school. <laughs> Dead on your face. Now you standing in the corner like a wet dog. Give me the fucking phone code, bitch. The nigga sitting there shivering. Mind you, but you a thug ass hood ass nigga. It's a whole ass nigga in a wig bitching you right now because you got the right motherfucking one. The shit that you thought that you could play on them other bitches or other, it ain't, you can't do it with me. It ain't gonna happen. So he finally give us the phone call and I take his Android. I got some woods behind my apartment. Sling that bitch in the woods. Go find it. Get the fuck on. We leave him. We lock the door. We gone about our motherfucking business. It's about an hour later, that motherfucker has been up in the trees and bushes crawling through squirrel shit to look for his fucking Android, bitch, because that's the only phone he got now. One of my friends say, Shay, he on live, um, talking about he gonna expose your address, um, and da 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 So, bitch, we like, he, he on live. He must still be in a complex because we ain't got no reception back here, and bitch, he on a joy. So, where he at? We walk outside my apartments, we thinking we about to walk around the whole complex looking for him. This nigga is up on the second floor. Right above me, over the banner stuff, on live. I'm like, so bitch, you gonna do what? You mighty motherfucking ball, bitch. And you standing right there, you finna expose. Bitch, I wish the fuck you would. We'll whoop your motherfucking ass out this bitch. Boy, you really want some issues. Now, you better be lucky all we did was throw some water on you. Because it really could have got real disrespectful. We really could have stripped your ass naked and made you walk about this bitch with nothing if we really wanted to get disrespectful. But I wasn't trying to be on that type of time. So, he, he in his live quick fast and in the hurry. We go back in there and chill. And then somebody else, uh, like 20, 30 minutes later, he go back motherfucking live Talking about some, uh, no, I think he had texted me and said he, uh, uh, he calling the police or something like that or whatever. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. So he get back on live, talking his raw raw shit. At this point, we ready to go outside. So it's me and my bitches, we tip outside, we walk up the steps, we looking for him. I walk up the steps, I see an officer. So I'm walking up to the office, I'm like, and he's sitting on the step, it's two of them, two female officers, black. I'm like, What's going on? I, I I need him to go. No, 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 no. He says y'all jumped him and robbed him. And I'm like... Nigga, I beat your motherfucker. Rob? What? what? Well, mind you, me not realizing my friends was on live. I'm like, we never touched him or nothing. Well, he did show us a screen recording of someone in green hair. I'm assuming that's you um, swinging on him. What you talking about? A stupid ass fucking friends, bitch. On motherfucking live. Messy ass, fake ass supporters. Not even supporters, just messy ass bitches. Know the boy at name. They done sent him the fucking screen recordings. Or no, he posted asking for the screen recorders or something. And some weird ass bitches actually sent it to him, bitch. I know I was on fucking live. The bop, bop the bus out of fucking head. I can't lie. I'm on grandma. <laughs> I'm on grandma. I'm like, huh? So she was like, um, yeah, so until our detective gets here, um, we're just gonna detain you. Um, we're gonna put the cuffs on you and you're gonna send it back to Cuffs? I've never been in handcuffs. Bitch, I know you lying. I was like, girl, I'll walk over there to the car. I gotta, I gotta put on cuffs. She's like, oh, oh, well, no, you can go sit in there. So, bitch, I go sit in the back seat of this car. A squad car. This is my birthday, y'all. They ain't detaining him because in this situation, he's the victim. My friend Gutter is with me too. Gutter is on the live because when the boy, like, he had tried to, like, I guess he thought he was gonna tussle with me in my room, but I got too much expensive shit. I got cameras, ring lights. We're not gonna fight in my room. So what I did was, 
while we was like, he was trying to break away from me. I was like, hey, 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 we not finna fight in this bitch. So I manhandled him and pushed him down on the bed and my friend Gooder came and held him down too. But on the camera, it looks like we're boom, 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 beating his ass, but that's not what the fuck we did. We was just holding you down like, hey, you ain't finna tussle in this bitch and knock over and break not now, piece of my motherfucking equipment, bitch. We, we, we finna get you to send this money and that's it. So girl, tell me why they detained Gutter too. But they put her ass in cuffs. Cause Gutter got a fucking record, bitch. They put Gutter ass in the cuffs and I see her walking over there to another car. I'm like, oh my God, we all going to jail. We all going to jail behind a boy. And the boy is sitting over there, shirtless, sitting on the curb, looking, smiling at us. I'm like, you bitch ass nigga. I, I, ooh, you see this? I could, ooh, bitch. You said we jumped you and we robbed you. Bitch, if we wanted to jump you, we could. You would have been leaking. The cops is not telling me nothing. I'm sitting in this back seat. Mind you, I'm a comedian. So I'm thinking, girl, I can laugh my way about this back seat. I am joking with the cops, girl. I am sending all types of comedy vibes. Them cops is up there rolling in them bulletproof vests. This shit. <laughs> you are so silly. <laughs> yeah, girl, I am. Unlock me. Let me out. No? All right. I'm sitting up there for maybe two hours. In the back. Mind you, it's hot as fuck. It's hot as fuck. I have a wig, my wig is sliding. The back of a squad car, they ain't got no AC running, the cars are off. Mind you, it's about four more police cars that they pulled up, about six more officers, and we're still waiting on the detective that really can get shit popping. Finally, a detective gets there. She gets in the back seat with me. She seems like a stern bitch, like a very, very uh, serious. No joking with her. We can't tell a joke with her. She gets in, she was like, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna just tell you this up front. They don't call me to the scene unless somebody is going to jail. So, choose your words. And she read me my Miranda rights. Girl, I'm thinking like, hold on, do they read you these rights before they lock you up? Or what's going on? So she tell me you have the right to, I'm like, oh girl, the movies is real. Like, no, I know I got the right to an attorney. I'm like, girl. So she's like, do you still wish to talk? I'm like, yeah, girl, because I got nothing to lie about. So she asked me what happened. So I explained to her everything that happens with Woo and how basically, you know, he thought he could play me and he just can't. I'm a hood ass bitch. I'm telling the cop this, y'all. I don't know how to talk to police. I'm telling her, I'm a hood ass bitch and he thought he could play with me, bitch. That's not how we get down. But you got to go today. At this point, I done seen too much weird behavior. You got to go. She's trying to tell me, um, well, if he's been there for more than. Uh, I think seven days or something like that. He's actually a resident. I um, mean, you can't kick him out. You have to give him a 30-day notice. I'm like, bitch, no, 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 no. And she was like, well, he told me he came down here to stay with you, to move in. I said, no, he came down here to perform or something. And he said he was going to pay me to stay with me. It's when he refused to pay me, he had to fucking go. So she was like, well, without any evidence, it looks like you, uh, it's a robbery by force and that's a felony or something along the lines of that. And I heard felony, felony is a year plus in prison, hold on. She was like, so you can really be in some big trouble if we don't have that in uh, 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 proof. So I'm like, oh, the proof is in my phone. My phone is downstairs, she won't let me out of the car. I'm like, let me go get my phone. Send one of my friends to go get my phone. Like, I can go through our Tinder messages um, and show you like where he agreed to da, da, da. but in the back of my mind I'm thinking like we did get on FaceTime I don't know if we agreed to the $150 over the phone or through text message so I'm like this could really mean my freedom or not so she sent one of my friends down there to go get my phone they bring my phone up there there's no reception there's no reception in my apartment complex so I'm literally waiting out there trying to have Tinder load. Nothing is loading. This lady think I'm lying. I'm like, oh my God, like this is really bad. Like I just turned 21. I've been in the backseat of a squad car for three and a half going on four hours in the hot sun. Now there's about eight police cars because they heard robbery by force. They're calling in backup because they think it's a bunch of big gun goons. Bitch, it is gay boys in wigs. <laughs> like, so I'm sitting there and I'm just feeling defeated. I start praying. I start realizing, huh, is prison that bad, Shay, you know? And then randomly, I remember, I go through our messages and I see if I have a message thread with him. I scroll through and I see where he agreed to send me the 150. So I roll down the window, hey, the tag deal. The hey, I get it up. So she come and I show her like this is what he agreed to because she said if I have proof that he was going to pay me, then I didn't rob him. I just took the money back that he had owed me. It wasn't a robbery. 
And she said the little screen recording that the supporters had tried to send, it wasn't clear enough to say that I assaulted him because you know it was like, you know, not the best quality. Lo and behold, she sees it, but she scrolled up too far, girl. She see his dick picture and my booty pic. The news was sending back and forth. And I could see her eyes got big. I was like, uh. Oh. And she was like, um, just screenshot from beneath the dick. <laughs> and send me those screenshots. So girl, I do that with a, a, a joy. And I'm sitting in the backseat for like maybe another 35 minutes. Y'all, when I tell you, they, they did so terrible with the communication, like, it made no sense how hot that car was. We were not even parked underneath no shade. We parked in the middle of the street in this hot ass uh, uh, fucking squad car. Gotta been in the backseat of a car the, the whole time at the same at bitch as well. I think they put Kale in cuffs too, bitch. One of my other friends, like, they were just locking bitches, putting bitches in handcuffs. My friend Tracy ain't nowhere to be found. That bitch, no. That bitch heard police. That bitch ducked down, ran back in my apartment and hid under the paint in the walls. Do you hear me? So finally, uh, one of the, f the female officers that was there first, she came and opened my door. She was like, well, you're good. I was like, I knew I was good. I step out the squad car, they let Gutter out, girl, Gutter done ripped her wig off. As soon as Gutter got out, mind you, it's like eight, ten police officers not just standing around. As soon as Gutter stepped out of the car, she was like, first thing first on my first day out, shit, me. I come by her, young hoes wait for me to lock the pop shit. I ain't even do shit, so bitch, I'm coming out rich. Fuck the police and that nasty ass baloney. Well, I ain't gotta steal a bitch ass thing. Like, literally, that like, was the move. And all the cops is laughing and shit. I'm like, I could kick every single one of you pigs in the throat. No, I'm too blessed to rob somebody. What the fuck, bitch? I know I'm gonna get what the fuck I was. Oh, bitch, and if you thought you should motherfucker play me this, yeah, that's crazy. So, yeah, after that, they had let us go. Um, and we went back down. And we really just took a deep breath and had to realize, like, had I not had those messages, how close I came to. Being in a world of trouble behind just some worthless ass, broke ass, lying ass, deceiving ass, weak ass, bitch ass, down low ass nigga. So I didn't have the ideal birthday this year, but I'm still here. Um, I learned a valuable lesson. I know I feel like that's what life is about. Learning, doing dumb stuff when you're young and knowing not to do it again. If I get up in a situation like this again, my fault. Which now I'm 21, so let's do something stupid. I'm 21, I'm a boss bitch. I got my own two bedroom, two bathroom apartment. Girl, so what? Y'all made a mistake. Well, that's about it for this video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. I'm gonna hit y'all with some more story times coming back to back. But make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell your brother, tell your sister, tell your cousin about me. You know you live for this. Remember to always, no matter what, love yourself unapologetically. And remember, if you carry yourself like royalty, these bum, crusty, musty, disgusting, puppy face ass hoes got to respect you. It's all about how you carry yourself. If you carry yourself like some sad, depressed, weak person, that's how you gonna be treated. You got to walk around with your chest out and your head up like the bad bitch or the young queen or the young king you are, and it's gonna prompt some folks to respect you by nature. But until next time, talk to the girlfriend before you just assume she crazy because she probably not and you probably laying in the bed with a weird ass nigga. Bye.